Okay, welcome to Aviation Today. Um, today I want to talk about uh, the, uh, the atmosphere that, uh, that we all have in front of us every day. And as you know, the, the airplanes, they fly through the layers of, uh, of the atmosphere. And we know, we know that uh, the, the atmosphere is uh, composed of, of uh, various layers, the layers of the atmosphere. And uh, all of them, all of those layers have uh, have names attached to to them. As uh, students of uh, of uh, aerodynamics and uh, flight uh, theory, uh, this airline. Uh, dispatch students uh, and so on the, the the knowledge of uh, of of those layers of the atmosphere is uh, very important so this is uh, this is one one of the reasons why that that I decided to cover this topic the atmosphere uh, what I'm going to do is uh, cover the, the those layers starting with with, with the first one uh, we, and the first one is uh, of course uh, the troposphere uh, the the word troposphere is a combination of uh, of a tro tropos and uh, and sphere. Uh, tropos comes from uh, actually tropos yeah tropos com comes comes from a Greek Greek word the tropos which means change change tropos change so if we any other word that is linked with uh, tropos so whatever that the other whatever the the linked word means it's in relation to some changes so needless to even say that uh, troposphere which is the, the the layer of the atmosphere that is closest to, to 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 the earth to us has uh is a changing is a dynamic uh, layer of of uh of the atmosphere. Once again, uh, troposphere, tropos, Greek, means change, and then with the word uh, uh, sphere. So um, the what is what is the thickness of the troposphere? The troposphere, the troposphere is, like I just said, is the layer of the atmosphere that is that is closest to the earth, to where we are living. So we can we can even say that we live in the troposphere. So the 
thickness, the thickness, that means the, the thickness of the atmosphere is about uh, between, between uh, um, eight, I would say between five and, uh, and nine miles. Okay, this is how, how high it is, how high the, the, trop, the troposphere is, the, its thickness in, 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 in miles and it's about uh, five, it's between five and nine miles, okay, oh, uh, eight to fourteen kilometers, that, that's how far the uh, the troposphere you know uh, well it is you know be you know starting from uh, from the earth that's his that that his uh, that's its thickness its its uh, its length it's about uh, between five to between between five and eight miles, no five and nine miles, eight uh, and f eight and fourteen kilometers. So we can say that as human beings living on on the earth, so we can say that the troposphere we we all, we live in the troposphere because everything that we see the clouds we see the clouds from the from the earth we're looking up we see the clouds we see the birds flying you know every time we see that we we we, we can think of the troposphere you see the birds, the clouds, the big mushroom clouds. The troposphere is very is very famous for containing those that kind of uh, changes, those kinds of changes uh, in uh, in in the weather. So we we know that. Tropos, tropos means change. So what that means is that in the troposphere, the there is a the 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 always constant there there always changes in the weather in that in that layer of the uh, of the atmosphere. All those thunderstorms that we experience, you know, all those big uh, uh, clouds that uh, we see, those, uh, those exist in the troposphere. The weather in the troposphere constantly changes, okay? And why? Because the the troposphere is about I would say well the troposphere or you know you know the air contains it, the air the air itself which is a gas also has other gases in it so when when those gases when the weather changes so much in the troposphere. It create uh, a lot of lots of you know actions among those gases that are mixing with each, that are mixing with each other in a very turbulent way. So that can create a lot of. Uh, problem for aircraft of, uh, and even the birds are flying in that section of uh, of uh, in that layer of the atmosphere the troposphere because 
the weather in the in the troposphere is unstable. You never you never know what you're gonna get in in the troposphere. The weather can change at any time. Okay, so like I, like I like I like I told you, if we call the Earth our home, we can also call the troposphere our ho our home because it's it's very close to us. That's why we can see what's happening up there. All those clouds, all, all those all those clouds, the birds flying. That that is this is that that is happening in the in the troposphere troposphere so uh, what about the temperature the temperature the temperature the temperature in the troposphere the temperature the temperature in the troposphere is very very important to it's very important to understand because that can really affect uh, the performance of an aircraft, of an airplane, uh, flying through through it. Uh, we can uh, one of uh, one of one of the most important features of the troposphere is the change in temperature you know with altitude so as the aircraft as the airplanes gains altitude the temperature decreases in the troposphere and we can even say that uh, the temperature in the troposphere decreases in, in altitude with altitude at about uh, I would say two two degree two degree C per one thousand mile. Okay, two degree C per one thousand miles. So that's how, that's that's approximately how much the way the temperature in the tropos in the troposphere de decreases as an airplane gains altitude. The higher the airplane is, the lower the temperature in the troposphere, and that is very important important to know because that can have adverse effect on the on the on the airplanes flying through through it so I, I i remember telling you that the troposphere contains well the air contains other gases and, I, and I'm going to tell you that the troposphere is the is the thickest is the thickest is more dense than uh, all the other layers of the atmosphere. Remember that the air, the air in the troposphere, the air in the troposphere is more dense than all the other layers of the atmosphere. Why? Because it's about uh, three, I would say it contains about three quarters of the total mass of the atmosphere. So we say that because in the troposphere, there is seventy-eight percent, seventy-eight percent of oxygen, seventy-eight percent of oxygen, 
and and I think it contains uh, 21 percent of nitro nitrogen. The troposphere contains 78 percent oxygen, 21 percent nitrogen, and the other one percent is other gases. It's for other gases like uh, uh, water, water vapor, and um, and I would say uh, 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 carbon dioxide, and even uh, there's another one. I think it's a uh, argon. So, uh, so we, as we can see, the troposphere you know, contains most uh, of the gases uh, in the atmosphere.